Hello Collective, welcome to the platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. Okay. All negative intent being sent towards you or spell work rituals being done against you. Past, present, future are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. Okay. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and do our T Oracle um reading on <laughs> T Oracle cards. I don't know what the heck just happened. <laughs> um so we have the leg out here, and the leg typically has to do with strength. You having the strength to move forward or you just maintaining your tenacity to be forward to move forward in life no matter what is going on so that lets me know that whoever you are this reading pertains to you are being encouraged oh my gosh and then see the card that came out we got the legs and then we have the eight of cups so you are being advised and highly encouraged to move on either you're walking away from something or someone that's very toxic and you're going through some type of ascension um, and the little universe is encouraging you to use all of your strength, whether emotional, physical, spiritual, psychological, in order to go through this transition, you will arrive at your destination. Um, so yeah, uh, so let's go ahead and get into this tarot reading. There's a, I got a download about a queen of wands out there. I did a reading on you a few months ago and you were in the comment section because you tend to stay on my channel quite a lot <laughs> I did a reading you came out in it a couple of months ago and I said something about you stealing from someone else I don't know if you're stealing someone's intellectual property someone's money someone's resources you're blocking something you're you've been stealing from someone and I did say that you were going to end up either in jail you're going to lose everything. There was going to be some type of court case. Someone was going to take you to court, whoever you were stealing from. And you got in the comment section and said, with what money? With your money. You're going to have to pay someone out for everything you've taken from them. You got arrested recently um, and you've been trying to hide. Yeah, I split the deck and it went right out on it. You recently got arrested and you've been pretending like nothing happened. This is just the beginning of your ending. Everything you stole from someone is going to be taken from you. You're going to have to pay them back every dime. Not a penny will be left in your hand. So everything, whether this is through the court system, through the IRS, they don't care. Someone's ancestor says you're under judgment and this is what's going to be happening to you. Okay. You are under judgment. You are trapped. There is no way out of this situation you're gonna have to pay someone back someone back everything that you stole whether it was money whether it was a relationship what whatever it was again this is you you either recently got arrested because i had a dream you got arrested and you've been out here pretending like nothing happened okay so anyways that's you again it came out this is the judgment for you imprisonment and i'm talking about physical imprisonment and you're mentally imbalanced as well in every way, shape, or form, okay? There is a karmic group out here. You're all about to be going through in Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, under judgment, okay? You may even want to reach out to someone to ask them for forgiveness at some point. Someone's not paying you any mind. Someone's not holding grudges, but your debt has to be paid, okay? Um, there's a karmic group out here that I don't know if they were misled by someone, like someone's twin flame has fell from grace because they refused to step up to the plate and bring balance into some type of situation that had to do with their soulmate. So they're falling from grace and they're trapped in something they cannot get out of and they're unhappy in whatever situation they found themselves in, but they have no one else to blame but themselves, okay? 
someone has lost a lot they've lost a divine union they're stuck with a karmic or they are in isolation not wanting to talk to anyone this is absolutely a higher level soulmate that fell from grace either this is someone's soulmate or just a higher level soulmate that fell from grace because they turned on who they were supposed to partner up with okay you're going through some type of death it's like everything you try to do every new project anything you try to do is going to go through this a death failure um, because you're falling from grace. So it's going to be a long journey because there is something that you have to learn. You have to go through for you in order for you to get back on the right side of the universe. And this is the God's honest truth. Everything you touch, everything you touch, this is what's about to be happening. This is the God's honest truth. You're, you're going through some type of ending. Everything you invest in, everything you invest in, new beginnings, new relationships, new business, new anything is going to be a failure. Okay. Um, because there's some type of karmic lesson you need to learn. You need to go through some type of a ascension, not be so vain and accepting whatever offer or false promises people make to you. There is a group, um, that is fighting amongst themselves because they're experiencing some type of ending. They are like at the beginning of experiencing their karma. This is a karmic justice taking place. Because someone may have misled a group of people based on a lie. This could have been like a queen of wands that lied to a bunch of people. If I someone else, like a star, sea, empress, energy, queen of cups, energy, whatever this is, emperor. She lied on someone and then a whole group of people got together, grabbed uh, took hold of their pitchforks, axes, and whatever else swords to come and take someone out, uh, destroy someone's life. You're all about to be going through endings you can't even imagine, okay? Um, there is also something where, like, I don't know if someone is into, like, studying esoteric knowledge or something like that. They may have told a group of people that someone is, like, a good luck charm. If you touch them, um, you can get uh, good, you get good lucks or something or blessings in your life. If you're kind to them, you get some type of blessing in your life. So people got out here, started doing stupid stuff, like little, little favors. Oh, you want some candy? You want some drinks? Let me buy you this. Uh, that, that is like very hypocritical because first of all, the universe does not like any type of forced kindness. And I think I've mentioned that on my channel before when you're doing something and it's not out of the kindness of your heart and you're doing it for, with some type of ulterior motive, you are cursing yourself. Okay. And someone amongst you is about to learn this the hard way. This is a masculine that used to like, I don't know if he was buying like drinks for someone and saying that, you know, they just wanted to make sure they were okay. I'll buy you this. I, they weren't doing it out of the kindness of their heart. Someone told them that you were like a lucky charm, a genie in a bottle, a earth, earth angel, star sea. And that when people are nice to you, good things happen to them. Um, and then in the, on the darker side, this person also told a group of people that if they harvested your energy or they bully you or something like that, it will keep you in a low vibrational energy and they will benefit off of that. I don't know how the logic in that works. And I want you all that participated in that mess to think about it. You go to bully someone and you're supposed to reap some type of blessing out of that. The very act of you bullying someone is against the very essence of the universe, right? Because you're being hateful. That's you putting negative energy out into the universe. So how are you going to put negative energy out into the universe and expect to receive something positive? Make it make sense. It doesn't, it, it's not going to add up. Okay. So you have quite a few people behind the scenes going through some type of ending. They may want to uh, uh, come towards you to give you some type of friendship now, apologize and things like that. I don't think you really care. These people are going through some type of stalemate or stagnation in their life. Someone, someone may want to take some type of action to come towards you. And this is because they're going through some type of stalemate. And someone has taken some type of action behind the scenes to cause some type of illusion. Regardless of what's going on, these people were planning, plotting an ending for a star seed. Put, trying to put an end to your independence the message has been coming out the same for like the past week right where it's like a group of people are trying to plot someone's ending and it's not just like to just not just to weigh you down but they want you flat up out of here and they feel like you being out of here is justice for them but all of these people are under judgment for coming after a, an empress energy okay there is an another empress Impressed energy within this community. I don't know if this is someone's wife, someone's baby mama, someone's girlfriend, mother, whatever this is. She's going through some type of ending. This is someone that's heavily into rituals and things like that. 
This is someone very deceitful, may have been working with uh, two other feminine energy, a queen of pentacles and a queen of wands. Uh, this could be like a woman that sees herself as someone of high honor, but she's not really someone of high honor. This is just someone who's nothing more than a common thief. Um, but all of these people are going through some type of ending for plotting your deaths. Basically, they wanted you out of here. I don't know if this is so you like so that you don't receive an offer, you don't receive any type of stability or fulfillment in life. Whatever this is, it has backfired immensely. Yeah, this whole group has fallen apart. The group is dismantled. This collaboration is over. Um, there is something where they may have hired someone that was technical or something like that, or they said they were a professional at, you know, doing certain things with technology. And it turns out that they are unable to defeat you in some way, shape or form. It's like someone, let's say like you have a platform, someone trying to destroy your platform, trying to steal your platform or just, just destroy your platform overall. But it's like everything they do, your ancestors are stepping in to balance it out, or they're telling you exactly what you need to do to balance your platform out whatever it is right um so this is what's going on is there someone there's a group of people that do not want you to be seen they don't want you elevated they don't want you receiving your uh, uh um your credit they don't want you receiving your flowers they want people to not even be aware of you okay um so what i don't know why they are this invested but someone is coming towards you like Someone has some type of passion for you. I don't know if this is mature, not mature passion. Uh, I keep seeing the Knight of Wands quite a lot. So this could be like some type of immature passion because someone is going through some type of emotional outburst behind the scenes for doing something to block your, your new beginning, the like causing stillness, right? You were supposed to have some type of new beginning and someone did something to block this and people are still taking action, believe it or not, even though this group is dismantled, there is someone behind the scenes, could be a king of cups that's taking action behind the scenes to still temper with your life, your livelihood and things like that. Or this could be like a queen of wands, queen of pentacles. There is absolutely someone still taking actions to block you interfere with your life and things like that even though the truth has been revealed is that the universe is the one causing blockages in these people's lives now they're blinding them there are certain things they're not able to see they uh they've lost protection from their ancestors it's a whole lot going on and the fact that they cannot see what's coming towards you right uh, is leading to some type of victory for you and it has these people in some type of mental imprisonment someone here will be going to jail will be getting locked up a lot of people are losing quite a lot you have a king of cups that could be going through some type of ending as well someone may have caused a lot of illusions behind the scenes to a wealthy man about you maybe this wealthy man wanted to be in some type of relationship with you wanted to communicate with you but every time he would take action to either communicate with you this king of cups or a queen of wands will step in and cause some type of hindrance, right? They will cause some type of tower. Either this was something verbal they were doing, talking down about you to this masculine, or this is something where it was like they were blocking the messages from coming through. Both of these people are going through some type of tower, especially this queen of wands. Someone is headed straight for the penitentiary. Okay, while your while your life is leveling up, this woman is going through nothing but heartbreaks and disappointments behind the scenes. And this is how it was always divinely meant to be. You know, these karmics, it's like you can tell a karmic a hundred thousand times, don't do something, it's not going to go in your favor. You are embarking on the wrong path. You're destroying yourself. And they will stick to what it is they're doing because they feel like, who are, who the heck are you to tell me what, what to do? What do you know? You don't know nothing. Some of them, they say, I've been doing magic forever. You don't know what you're doing. So they'll commit themselves to causing disappointments to other people only to find out in the end that they've done nothing but cause themselves disappointment. People uh, were out here trying to defeat you, trying to block your commitment, trying to get you off of your pathway, your destiny, trying to prevent you from uh, fulfilling your purpose, causing a lot of illusions about you, just telling a lot of lies. This was a whole family that was working together, but this collaboration is over now. They're all scattered all over the place because their lives are falling apart. Your ancestors are on these people behind, stuck on them like white and rice. It's like everything you took, you're gonna have to pay back, okay? Everything you took, yeah, you're gonna have to pay back. And they mean business, they're standing on business, okay? Um, so 
there is someone behind the scenes where it's like they're leaving this group. I don't know if he's leaving or has some type of brand new passion and beginning somewhere. This could be a king of wands. I will be careful because this person is very deceitful. Uh, someone is coming towards you for a reason. And this is because they're trying to put some type of end to a chapter with these karmic people. This is someone that was working against you. But now maybe they want to work with you, give you some type of offer because now they see you as an empress energy. Now that they know the truth about all of the illusions, these people were causing and now he knows that the people around him were giving him like immature offers and things like that whether it was in friendship love whatever this is in business just to keep him stuck to keep him from seeing the truth about you okay so they wanted him to move on and and reject you in life someone may have even stolen from you stole your inheritance stole your blessings blessings blocked your resources someone did something to you behind the scenes like temper with your work may have told someone to maybe let you go or not give you an offer just be mindful this person is very deceitful and they're very impulsive on how they move from the um from the energy that i'm getting from him yeah someone is going through something behind the scenes maybe he's feeling like disappointed in himself maybe maybe crying behind the scenes is what i'm hearing because he betrayed yeah lord have mercy someone is crying behind the scenes because he betrayed you heavily and now that the truth is out he's disappointed that he didn't give you an offer which would have led to abundance and a brand new start for him but now that he betrayed you and partnered up with these people this man is going through some type of ending and in some some type of self-imposed mental imprisonment for some of you this king of wands could end up going to jail because they did something really impulsive and illegal. There is something where I think I told a group of people behind, uh, not behind, uh, well, I told you behind. I told them before that they were under investigation. While they were watching this channel, I told them, hey, you are under investigation and everything you're doing, it is going to backfire. You may want to uh, try and see things from a higher perspective. Um, lo and behold, a queen of wands got locked up and she's trying to hide it and pretend like nothing ever happened. She's still out here pretending like everything is a okay, but she's going, she's having to budget behind the scenes. Someone has lost quite a lot because she's gone through some type of ending for what she committed herself to. It's that someone was committed to causing blockages and still myths and things like that, con uh, confusion in your pathway. And now that she's lost everything, she's having to budget uh, someone may not even have money to pay their rent, their mortgage, their bills, but you know what she's doing though? She is still trying to collect money to go to a freaking practitioner just so she can cause endings in your life because she thinks that she is the better option than you. Okay. She thinks she's the better option than you. So she feel like she feels like she has to defeat you so that she can thrive in life because she wants to feel like she's more powerful than you. Um, but that's not what's happening. A sister is struggling behind the scenes and the whole time she's still watching you still focused on you, got her eyes on you. She says she am taking her eyes off and she's going to keep watching you as she goes through that dark night of the soul involuntarily. Okay. Yeah, she came out. She came out. She wants a masculine to see her as wish fulfillment because when these these two being together, I don't feel like they are like they them coming out together. I don't think he sees her as wish fulfillment now. Maybe he saw her as wish fulfillment in the past, but the fact that they're facing away from each other, if you can see this right here, they're facing away from each other, which means that these two do not see eye to eye. This masculine is trying to get away from someone, but she's trying to force herself on him. She wants him to see her as wish fulfillment, but there's something. Yeah, she wants this masculine to see her as wish fulfillment. Okay. She wants him to work with her. He, nah. She sees this man as wish fulfillment simply because he may have money. Like maybe he was lavishing her with money and things like that. There's something where this masculine as well may see you as wish fulfillment, but maybe you're not even considering this person or maybe this person was never uh, an option for you or you were never an option for this person because someone has a lot of healing to do. Maybe they've taken the initial steps to go through the healing process, which is why we have the eight of cups out here. But someone is taking some type of action because they're tired. The whole group is tired from have, from trying to destroy you. And they're coming to a point where they're realizing that 
them trying to destroy you is not going in their favor. You're not going to give up on your path. You're not going to give up on your dreams. You're not about to just let something go. It's what they're finding out. Like you are content in life. Okay. You are being very practical about your situation and you know exactly what these people are trying to do to you. There's a kink of pentacles in the mix, maybe from behind the scenes that knows the truth about what these people were plotting for you. They may have even been trying to he may have even been helping these people plot your ending and the truth has been exposed about how they were taking actions to steal from you. Someone may be taking action now to balance something out. I don't know what the heck this is, honey. I think this really has a lot to do with blocking some type of love connection between two people. Yeah, I said love connection. I split the deck and the two of cups came out. There is something where a group of people are determined or were determined to block two people from coming together. And I don't know why they are this invested in blocking two people from coming together. Maybe it has something to do with a lot of money. There's a karmic, um, there's a karmic in a masculine's life. And I think she has helped this masculine go down some type of dark path. And he's so delusional in some way that he thinks that he's in love with this woman. This is like being in love with your destiny blocker, not knowing that you've been battling this scene, Jizzy Bell energy for multiple lifetimes. And they're just there to keep blocking you and keep you in toxicity. Uh, someone does not know that a woman is being groomed, has been or is being groomed behind the scenes on how to present herself to him. Um, and this is how they got into this toxic connection in the first place. So he's out here saying that he's in love with a woman that's not even in love with him. Um, it's just that, you know, they both do or participate in low vibrational activities together. Uh, so he's on under some type of delusional mindset that he's in love. It's not really love. It's just toxicity. You know that one of those toxic bad boys or bad girls you dated when you were younger and you thought they were your world. You like how they did everything, even though they were toxic and karmic as heck. This is what two grown ups are in. Like just a karmic kind of love. Um, maybe he's going through some type of awakening now, trying to balance something out in his life. And she's not wanting to let go. She's not wanting to move on, but you're going to have to move on because someone is stern. I think he has decided that he wants to move on. So she's going to have to move on herself. Um, I don't think there's a choice in here. This masculine has decided to move on with his life, even though he may be afraid about coming to someone and giving them this offer. Um, and this will very well be like your emperor that's starting to see things from a higher perspective. And he knows the truth that people were trying to weigh you down. And he was part of this nonsense as well. Uh, he's still going to be moving on. Okay. I hear a masculine saying that I, I love her. Um, but I want to be with you or something that is not love. That's toxicity. Someone has, it's like someone, you know, one of those women that are so karmic, they don't care what a man does as long as he's coming home to her. That's one of these women. That's what I'm getting. Like he don't, she does not care if he sleeps with the whole neighborhood, the whole city, the whole state. As long as he, as long as he comes home to her and she's the mean chick. Lord, Lord that's so disgusting. As long as she's the mean chick, she's good. As long as he's giving her money, she's good. Th that level of insecurity is alarming because she's karmic. That's why she's okay with it. But this masculine, he knows that if he comes towards a star, see, he can't come with none of that mumbo jumbo. Someone don't got time for it. He knows someone will cut you off in a heartbeat. You come to them with nonsense. They're like, stay back away. Go away. Okay. And someone may want to come towards you to ask you for forgiveness. So they're watching you to see what is the best way to approach you. Um, so they're trying to figure that out. This is a little bit too heavy. Yeah. Because they know you're going to see right through their illusions because someone is a, is an illusionist. Okay. Someone is an illusionist, but you see right through them. Like they know you have your sword pulled out. So if they come towards you with BS. You're going to tell them exactly what it is you have to tell them. And again, someone's, I keep being told someone's soulmate or twin flame fell from grace. Okay. Fell from grace. And so a higher level soulmate is going to be sent to you um, in divine timing. Someone's soulmate fell from grace because he's, he was out here being low vibrational and he may be going through some type of ending. There is a whole family going through some type of ending. 
facing a lot of issues. They're stuck in their mind and things like that. Uh, they're stuck in some type of, I don't know what kind of, what this is. It's a lot of anxiety and fear, burdens. They feel overwhelmed. Something has been drugged out or uh, dragged out a lot longer than they thought it would. They were expecting someone to be weighed down in that 10 of wands energy, but it seems like the whole family is the one in this energy here going through endings and things like that. I don't know if there's something where they were like trying to plot someone's ending and they have, they had came up with some type of crafty idea. Um, but then there's some type of blockage like they're being blocked out of your energy. It's something like that, but there is absolutely a queen of wands out here. That is because you're someone very clever. You're someone very clever, so you may have been aware of what a, a group of people were plotting for you. Yeah, you've, you're very clever, and your ancestors have been protecting you the whole time, okay? Uh, you are very clever. You're showing up as the magician as well, very committed, right, to your craft, your life, your work, everything. You're very clever, so it's like you have some type of knowing about what people are planning before they even take action, uh, and so you've been taking action to protect yourself and your ancestors have been taking actions to protect yourself. Again, these people want to weigh you down, but they're the ones who are weighed down about you having this new beginning. Okay. And this is how it was always divinely meant to be. You could have a king of swords in here that is putting an end to some type of chapter. I don't know if he was in a, a relationship with a toxic person that was pretending to be in love with him. Uh, he may have given to this woman generously, I think emotionally, financially and everything. Maybe he's finding out that someone had ulterior motive, that she was not being her true self. Someone was pretending to be something that she was not, right? Pretending to be someone's twin flame. Like someone was pretending to be genuine and innocent. Um, she wanted someone to see her as like a higher level soulmate, but someone is, was very vain. Someone was very like, uh, you know, like those women that put on, that take on personalities for the moment, for the, the, uh, sit per the situation. So I think she may have known that a king of swords was very stable in life and had a lot of money. Uh, so she took on some type of, I'm innocent character a uh, personality and he fell for it and i think he didn't realize the whole time that he was with a facade so he's putting some type of ending to this chapter with her listen i'm getting too much I, this is too much he's he has put some type of end to a relationship a collaboration something like that with a person or a group of people because he's seeing the truth and your higher level soulmate is absolutely under judgment i think i mentioned that someone had fallen from grace he's under judgment by the ancestors someone may be going through some type of some type of epiphany but it's too late because you're not coming back the choices, the chances of you and this person working together is slim. It's that you're not paying them any mind because you already know what they've done. And someone is busy having like nostalgic feelings about you. But this relationship, this meeting is not coming together because someone has fallen far, far, far down from grace. They're falling so far. If you want to know how far this person has fallen, think of Lucifer falling from heaven and then becoming like, uh, devilish energy. That is how far your soulmate has fallen. And now he may be going through poverty or this is what's coming up for him. And he's weighed down a lot about all the actions he took up against you, thinking that they were going to lead to some type of new beginning. Only to find out that he had trapped himself in this whole time. It was divinely orchestrated for him to not see clearly that he should have given you an offer, right? So now he... Because he gave his offer to the wrong person, possibly to a uh, Jizzy Bell energy, that queen of wands or whoever. He trapped himself and he may be going through some type of betrayal due to the fact that he betrayed your relationship or he rejected you. Him rejected you. Re mm, excuse me. Lord have mercy. Ancestors. The fact that he rejected you was a blessing for you, but now he's unhappy with the decision he made and he's not getting any sleep. Someone is crying a lot over you because they know this chapter is over. They're not able to come in and give you some type of commitment and have a new beginning with you. You don't want no commitment with this person. You're focused more so on your dreams and having a brand new passionate beginning in life. You may have some type of fresh start with a king of swords um, and your ancestors, they want you to know that it will be successful just give it time um yeah just give it time but they want you to know it will be successful 
um, if you two are willing to come together, kind of mend things, there is going to be some type of closure that needs to take place in other for you and this masculine king of swords or whoever this is to have success together. Okay. Um, there's a queen of cups in here. Someone needs to be aware of. They may be taking some type of action in order to block a union. Like this woman has been very stern, <clears throat> And trying to defeat two people from coming together. It's like, I'm going to block you two, you two from connecting if it, if it means um, that I lose everything. That someone is very determined to block two soulmates from coming together. Or just determined to block a empress energy from receiving love overall. Because this is something that she's very jealous of. Someone may not have true love and is incapable of giving true love because their emotions are out of balance. Someone is emotionally unstable and they play with people's emotions. They always have some type of lie they're telling, some type of ulterior motive for why they're in your energy and things like that. And it typically will either have to do with finances or they just, they just like to cause endings in people's lives. There's a king of swords in here going through some type of ending. There's a king of cups going through some type of ending. Uh, someone could be having some type of new beginning somewhere. Yeah, someone in this group is going... To be having some type of new beginning and there's a lesson and I'm not going to say anything more than this. There's a lesson that they're going to be learning where they're going. Uh, I'm being told to keep my, keep my mouth shut. Um, but it is something that is going to help them wising up and be a more honest version of themselves. So I'm being said, I'm being told not to say anything more than that. Okay. So, yep. It is crazy. You have people out here because I keep getting a lot that that ten of swords. It oftentimes has to do with false religious people giving ill advice. Those are people that pretend to be in the upright, people that pretend to be wise, knowing and things like that. These are like your fake friends, false friends. Sometimes you got to be aware of the people around you, friends around you, right? Um, so there's some type of false religious character that's going through some type of ending as well. There's a family in here that may have paid uh, either an institution, a couple of institutions, a few parties behind the scenes to cause you a lot of burdens to weigh you down and things like that. But throughout everything they've done, they've done to you, you're still going to be receiving wish fulfillment. You still will be successful in life. You'll still be partnering up with who you're supposed to partner up with. You still will be abundant in life. And this whole community here, they are going through some type of ending. Okay. And they know there's a prophecy. I don't know if there's like multiple prophecies that have come through for these people, uh, as far as karma, karmic justice, a lot of these people are going through some type of karma. And time and time again, they log online to watch people of uh, these terror readers. And we tell them, don't take this action because we see things from a higher perspective that they're not able to. We'll tell them, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that. And they'll still go do it. And they think their cute little rituals and spells are going to protect them from the repercussions. No, 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 no. Uh, no, the spirit realm always has you under some type of judgment, under some, some type of surveillance. And they always know what you're up to and balance. Yeah. Balance justice will always be brought into a situation. So you'll always face the karma that you need to good or bad. Okay. And the truth is out. Okay. Someone may be coming towards you to tell you the truth. 